Hi, this is Srinivas. Welcome back to my channel KSR English. Now I am going to tell about web. Okay, what is web and how many kinds of verbs, how to use in the, in the sentence. You can learn now. Now what is web? Web is a word which describes action, state and possession of the subject. It's called a web. Okay, web is a word which describes action, state, a possession of the subject is called verb. Okay. It is a main part of the sentence. It is main part of verb is main part of the sentence. There is no sentence without a verb. This is the main important thing. Okay. There is no sentence without a verb. It is main part of the subject main part of the sentence okay uh, just like is heart of the sentence okay we can't live without heart same as here there is no sentence without a verb there is no sentence without a verb so verb is the main part just like heart okay heart of the sentence example what are the verbs play Eat, read, study, drink, go, uh, fight, okay, run, come, take. These are all called. These are all called verbs. Okay. These are all called. Uh, play, eat, read, study, drink, go, fight, run, come, take. These are all. Okay. Now you can see the in sentence. Okay, I go to market. I go to market. Here already we discussed definition. What is definition? Verb is a word describes action. Okay, action of the subject and state of being of the subject and possession of the subject. Action of the subject. Action means what? Physical action. Go, run, oh, uh, what is that? Write, write and eat. These are physical actions. Okay. The action of the subject and state. State means what? Position. Position of the subject and possession. Possession means what? Having. Ownership. Already we discussed it. So having. So now I go to market. Here go. See, I here go 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 it is a action action of the subject action of the subject go to market it's a action action of the subject okay here i read a book read it is also physical action. Action of the subject. Action. And I am a I am an English teacher. I am an English teacher. Here am. It is what? Am. It is a state of the subject. State. Or position of the subject. Hang. I am an English teacher. Or I am. I am an English teacher or he is a postman. He is a postman. What? His state or his position. What is his position? He is a postmaster, postman. Or, so, he is, is a, a, what is that? State of the subject. State, state verb. Okay. State. And he feels bad. He feels bad. It is also state. He feels bad. State. Here, I have a hat. I have a hat. This is what is the possession. Possession of the subject. Possession. This verb is possession. Okay. Possession. So, have. Same as he has. He has a big house. He has a big house. It is also 
possession having or have having so it is also a possession so what is the verb verb which describes action state and possession of the subject is called verb okay now go through the examples i go to market so go is a physical action here i am a english teacher it is state of being state of being of the subject okay and i have a hat he has a car okay she has a uh, she has a beautiful uh, what is that uh, she has a beautiful uh, ring she has a beautiful ring or she has beautiful cap whatever okay that is also what is that person of the subject person of the subject so has have these are all verb form verbs so already once again i am repeating you verb is a word which describes action state of being or possession of the subject is called verb okay now let us discuss how many kinds of verbs and what are they how to use okay now kinds of verbs now kinds of verbs there are mainly there are two kinds of verbs mainly there are two kinds of verbs okay one is main verb or you can call it as lexical verb okay main verb or lexical verb and second one is auxiliary verb or helping verb auxiliary means what supporting auxiliary means supporting or helping helping or or helping verbs or auxiliary verbs okay there are two kinds of verbs mainly one is main verb or lexical verb and second one is auxiliary verb or helping verbs okay auxiliary or helping auxiliary means helping supporting okay in the main verb there are two kinds okay subdivisions one is transitive verb and another is second one is intransitive verb okay transitive verb and second one is intransitive verb in the auxiliary verbs there are two kinds be form verb first one is be form do form have form okay in and second part modal auxiliaries second one is modal auxiliaries okay be form do form and have form here so are modal auxiliaries so let us discuss what is main verb and what are the transitive verb and intransitive verb and here in second part auxiliary verb helping verbs let us discuss first this part and auxiliary verbs and so now let us discuss what is main verb and what are they and transitive verb intransitive verb and also auxiliary verbs be form verbs let us discuss start now main or lexical or you can call it as principal verb main verb or lexical verb principal verb okay main verb is nothing but lexical verb lexical verb is nothing but principal verb now these are the verbs which denote any action is called main verb okay action of the verb action of the verb is called any action is called main verb okay these are the verbs which denote any action is called main verb or principal verb or lexical verb action of the subject for example i write a letter i write a letter right it is a main verb that means action what i what i does what i do okay i write a letter here he played cricket he played cricket what he did he played he played cricket it is also main verb and she bought a car she bought a car
car it is also action so action of this adjective is called main verb okay here there are two kinds of main verbs already we discussed here. okay one is trans to verb second one is in trans to verb now what is in what is trans to verb see trans to verb verb that needs object okay that needs object to complete its meaning this is the main important okay verb which needs object verb that needs object to complete its meaning that means this structure subject plus verb plus object okay subject verb plus object this is trans to verb structure structure of the sentence subject verb and object that means it needs object to complete its meaning okay for example she makes a kite she makes a kite a kite is an object right so it is trans to verb okay makes it is a trans to verb because makes after what is the object kite so the verb followed by object verb followed by object so that is trans to verb i bought a pen so here i bought a pen is an object so i bought a pen here bought is an trans to verb okay here subject verb and object structure subject verb and object and third one he played cricket he played cricket cricket is an object okay so played verb subject to he verb s v o subject verb object so played is a trans to verb now in trans to verb it's quite opposite that here verb needs object here verb that does not need object does not need okay verb that doesn't need object that means subject plus verb that's all no object no object it's called in trans to verb so object uh, verb doesn't followed by object for example it's raining it's raining has there no object only it's raining that's all there's no object in this sentence same as the girl smiled the girl smiled that's all there's no object it is in trans to verbs these are called in trans the moon shines brightly it is also in trans to for example the birds fly the birds fly so there is no object in the sentence so the fly, birds fly is a fly is a what in trans to fly is a fly is an in trans to verb and also she marks she marks so it is also in trans to verb these are called trans to verb in trans to verb and main verb once again i'm repeating you main verb is divided into two parts one is trans to verb and another is in trans to verb so what is the main verb these are the verbs denote by any action of the subject any action of the subject so these are examples right played bought and what is trans to verb trans to verb that needs needs object okay trans to verb always followed by object in trans to verb doesn't followed by object that's all okay this is about main verb trans to verb and in trans to verb next session next session what is that um, helping verbs or auxiliaries auxiliary means what helping or supporting so what are the auxiliary verbs how many kinds and what are they i'll explain you now
Now, first part main part, main verb and the kinds. Now, second part auxiliary verbs. Okay, auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. Auxiliary means supporting. Auxiliary, auxiliary verbs means auxiliary means supporting or helping. Okay, auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. Now, there are two kinds of helping verbs or auxiliary verbs. One is primary auxiliaries and second one is model auxiliaries. One is primary auxiliaries and second one model auxiliaries. What is primary auxiliaries? B form verbs. Okay, B form verbs is, am, are, am, is, are, was, were, be, being. Okay, do form verbs, do, does, even this past tense did. Okay, have forms, have, has, had. These are all auxiliaries. For example, okay, here. For example, she is going to market. Okay, she is going to market. How use be form? She subject. Okay, going. It is in present continuous tense. So it is verb. V one plus ing form, right? So to market. So it is main verb. Going is a main verb. For this in present continuous tense is. It is B form verb. It is helping to main verb. Here is. It is B form verb. Or helping verb. This helping verb is help to main verb. Okay. That's why you are using. Okay. Same as one more example. Okay. He one more example. What is that? For example, he has he has worked in this office. He has worked. It is V three. Has. It is helping. It is what is the present perfect tense. Here it is main verb work. Here has. It is have forms. So it helped to main verb. It is a B form verb. It is helped to what? Here to main verb. So it is we can call it as have forms. Primary auxiliary. As a primary auxiliary. So, same, do, does, did. Okay. These are all called primary auxiliaries. And one more. Here, model auxiliaries. Here, model auxiliaries. Model auxiliaries are will. If it is present tense, will. Past tense of the will, would. Will, would. Would. Shall, should, can, could, may, might, must, need to, dare to, ought to, use to. These are all called model auxiliaries. These are all called model auxiliaries. auxiliaries. I will come tomorrow. For example, I will come tomorrow. Here, will, it is a model auxiliary. It is helping to come, main verb. Okay, same as, if it is in passive voice, the work will be done. Here, work will be done. When it will be used, this model auxiliary is with B. The helping of B in passive voice. You can use it in passive voice. So, we, you have to know more 
about helping verbs and model auxiliary that means 